Uh, Shalom, Akim, when I give all praises, honor, and glory to your honor, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, that belongs to the elders and apostles of greatness, and we will so much peace, safety, and blessings to those who live throughout the four winds, pushing the streets of security and diligence. All right, uh, so, uh, man, I just want to go into a quick lesson. You know, uh, may you always, man, really be able to the elect. Just want to go and tell, man, how, uh, man, the elect is, is real special and precious in the eyes. It's gonna make this uh, thing so beautiful. All right, when the, the manifestation of, uh, of who are the sons or who are the elect, uh, men of Yahweh, but Shema Shah, so beautiful is that the ones that you see walking uh, throughout the earth, least expected, okay, the men that you see on the highways and hedges, all right, pushing this 100% truth, line uncut uh, doctrine, all right, these are the uh, men of the Lord, okay? And you have uh, basically uh, despised uh, Yahweh by Shema Shah because you know, the Lord has chosen certain vessels to push out these words, okay, uh, they are true, and, and also, you know what, um, great, uh, good tidings, okay, what, they good news, okay, we're warning you people uh, daily, all right, and telling you people exactly uh, what's, uh, what's to come, all right, what to uh, look out for, you know, but what, you people are basically uh, throwing it right back at the Lord, okay, but what, oh man, it's a real beautiful thing to be called into this truth, okay, what could uh, consistently be pushing in it, all right? And what's staying humble, all right? So, uh, man, I'm going to just jump right into it. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7, and uh, I'll start at verse 6, all right? Because what, man, uh, man the, the way the Lord describes uh, his, his chosen people is like no other, all right? Every other nation upon this planet, they they uh, have their what, pride built up. And when they see our people, uh, the first thing they basically say is, uh, in their minds is that uh it's no way that this is the chosen people all right it's also documented within the scriptures all right this is uh deuteronomy 76 all right it says for thou art in holy people unto yahweh by shimei shah thy power the lord yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth the lord did not set his love upon you the lord choose you because you were more in number than any people ye were the fewest of all, but because the Most High loved you, I loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, and who are the, uh, our own forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? It says, had the, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, okay? And this is what, as soon as we uh, basically were delivered, out of the hands of Pharaoh, all right? But what? This didn't change, okay? Because now we're once again in, in spiritual Egypt, all right? Which is what? Uh, Babylon the Great, okay? Which is uh, uh, <laughs> also known as uh, America, all right? The, the, uh, what? The country, the land of the north, all right? Uh, it speaks about in the book of Jeremiah, well, what? Yahweh yeah, Shema Shah is going to redeem us from here, all right? Why? Because the Lord did not uh, basically um, throw his love away for us. You know, Yahweh yeah, Shema Shah only casted us away for a period of time, all right? When you go into Romans, the 11th chapter, okay? The Lord only uh, basically put us to the side for a little uh, bit of time, all right? And what, through the purification stations and, and, and what have you, Yahweh Shai, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, when he was crucified, only for the elect's sake, okay? What? We were brought back into their soul, okay? So the Lord, man, Yahweh Shai didn't uh, stop loving us, okay? Because he said, he, he made an oath, all right? So the Lord chose us to be uh, that, that special nation, all right? Nobody could change that. Nobody could change that at all. No matter what you people think, you, you scoffers, uh, you know, saying uh, we don't know exactly what we we're talking about. Shalom, you. You know, basically going in and, and what, uh, being scoffers to the living Lord, all right? But what, in that time, you people are going to see, all right? You people are going to Y'all about Shem I was dealing with the whole time. All right. Uh, this is Romans chapter 8. And I'll start at uh, verse 29. It says, It says, For whom he did foreknow, he did also predestinate. All right. To be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. 
Like what? This is Yahushua. I tell you, Yahushua was the firstborn among many brethren. All right. It says, moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Okay. Them he also glorified. You see, so what, man? The, the elect is real special in, in the eyes of Yahushua. All right. Because what he knew that he, that they was able to. Uh, Lord was able to put his spirit on those certain men, all right? What, they wouldn't change up his doctrine. They wouldn't uh, basically water it down, all right? They wouldn't pick and choose uh, what laws and, and, and statutes that they would follow and would not follow, you know? What the scriptures say? Open thy mouth, boy, you must eat this whole roll. And that's exactly what the true men of Yahweh are doing. Okay? It says, uh, verse 31, it says, What shall we say to these things? If the Most High be for us, be against us. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Okay. And it's basically telling you that what? There's no uh, limitation on the love that Yahweh has for us. All right? The Lord is always willing to uh, give us that extra, go, go that, that, that extra power. And ultimately what? It's Yahweh carrying us through it. All right? We're not going to have laws and statutes and commandments that's, that's in this book that we must follow. And uh, our great king, how shy he haven't went through it already. All right, if you love your brother, what it says, they go to extra mile for him. All right, greater have no love than any man, than, than what a man is gonna lay down his life for his brother. Okay, so what these things that that these commandments and they've all, all of them have been fulfilled by how shy. All right, so that's why we're able to uh, have that same spirit and abide in this truth so well. Okay, yeah, we're gonna uh, make up, uh, we're gonna fall. It's not about uh, how you fall, what you fall from, it's how you get back up. Your 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 uh your, the change that comes from it. All right? Because well ultimately this is a learning process. All right. This is a learning process. And that's why the men of the Lord are gonna stand out from everybody else that's in the world. All right. They don't understand uh man, let me get out there real quick. They don't understand uh judgment. You know, every time that, that uh what so called uh, hell or tribulation is meeting us, these people actually and what the Lord hates them, all right. But ultimately, it's, it's for what Yahweh Shimei Asha to uh make them uh, turn, make them turn back to him. See, but they don't understand that. All right, this is uh, this is Micah chapter 3, verse 1. It says, And I said, Here, I pray you, O heads of Jacob. Ye princes of the house of Israel, is it not for you to know judgment? Yes, it is. For for our people to know judgment, because what we are so peculiar of a nation, special to Yahweh Shimon Shai, He gave us uh, our own uh, things to follow. You see, but what our people always ran away from it. All right, they always ran away from it. And then when, when what our people uh started catching hell or getting their, their great judgment, <laughs> then they want to say the the Lord don't love them, you know. But ultimately love you all right but you just don't understand it because what man in this walk in this this period of time it was set up to where what you how about you know, shot was only going to deal deal with certain men all right and if you have your the spirit of the lord on you and you're what uh keeping these law statute commandments to the best of your ability you're going out on the highways and hedges all right you've been a, a great brother to, to the flock all right you're leading well all right and continue continue doing it you know continue seeking the righteous ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. Because what? Man, we're not partially following Yahweh Bashim Yahshua. All right? You can't expect to uh, partially follow the Lord and uh, uh, abundantly reap everything that comes with it. You see, it doesn't work like that. That's what's going to make us stand out from everybody else in the world. All right? This is uh, And what, man? Ultimately, by having the, the sons of Yahweh Shimashah being made manifest, it's going to kill the pride of every other nation that upon this planet. You see? So nobody's expecting us to rise. All right. Um, this is Micah chapter. Malachi chapter 1 and verse 1. It says, The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. Only to Israel. All throughout the scripture, the Lord constantly spoke to Israel. He even told us to go out and proclaim. Amongst the, uh, the the other nations, the heathen nations. Why? Because what? 
you have to uh, judge them. You see, you're gonna judge them. You're gonna give them their reproof. And you're gonna warn them and tell them exactly the downfall before it's come. You see, because what you how about you gotta start ruling up kings and priests and leaders? All right. Because what that's uh, when you go into the word elect, it tells you that the elect has the uh, the most greatest occupation on the planet. All right. It's the most greatest occupation that anyone could ever uh, have. All right. So that's why we were supposed to wear. Uh, the, the light to do the will of Yahweh by Shem all right? Because this chance wasn't given to everybody, all right? It says, uh, the burden of the word of, of the Most High Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Most High Yahweh, yet ye say, where hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said Yahweh, yet I love Jacob. And I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Man, that's this is the, the mentality of two thirds of our own people. You see, they'll say, "Man, we catching all this hell," and but down. If the Lord loves us, why do we have us at the bottom of the damn uh, uh, bucket? You see, why the Lord have us in the uh, the neighborhoods and the ghettos? Okay, why is the Lord suffering uh, uh, the so called white man to kick our ass twenty four seven? All right, but what you're getting all these answers. You're getting all these answers, but what just because it is not uh, calmly or beautiful? Or, or please, in the way you want to receive it, you're not going to accept it. All right? And ultimately, you're blinded from seeing it. All right? But what? Yahweh Bashim does love us. Why? Because we come out of the same laws from Jacob. Okay? We come out of the same laws from Jacob. Speaking to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. All right? Twelve tribes. All right? Of Israel. That's exactly who you are. Yahweh Bashim is not dealing with no other nation. All right? He even tells you. The Lord set up the other gods uh, personally for all of the heathen uh, nations. You see, and we have the the, the power that, that set up all that. Okay, He's only for us. The Lord is only going to hear the, uh, the the nation of Israel's uh, prayers. All right, in this go time, He's only going to hear the elect because what we're going to call and worship Yahweh by Shema Shai, Spirit and Truth. All right, this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seventeen. It's a lot. Ecclesiastes is also. Chapter 17, verse 17. It says, For the division of the nations, the dividing or the separance, all right, the separation of the nations of the whole earth, he said, a ruler over every people. But Israel is Yahweh's portion. You see? Who being his firstborn, he nourished with discipline and giving him the light of his love that he not forsake him. So Yahweh is not going to, hey, the Lord is never going to forsake us. You see? Lord is never going to forsake us if we have all totally repented and turned and, and what? Oh, oh, walk in his righteous walk. Okay, walk in his straight and narrow uh, path to the best of our ability. All right? The Lord is not going to forsake us. The Lord have promised us. All right? If the Lord could make a promise to, uh, to, to these filthy ass heathens that's ruling over us right now. All right? Uh, let me grab this. If the Lord could make a, a promise to these heathens right now. Fulfill it, and he told them that what they was gonna rule with the sword. And you see all this shit playing out today. All right, how much more his chosen uh, people? All right, how much his chosen people? So you, you heathens, Edomites, you Hamites, you, uh, Ishmaelites, you Moabites, you Ammonites, so forth and so on. Y'all, hey, y'all, time is is almost up, man. And chiefly Esau, because this is uh, he's the head of this kingdom. All right, this is uh, second and six. And, uh, verse 56. I'm going to start at verse uh, 54. And after these, Adam, also whom thou hast made as Lord of all thy creatures of him, can we all. And all the people, so like you, and, the, and the people, making what? A, a separation, or a, a distinction. It says, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. You see? Those chosen people are speaking of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. It says, all this have I spoken before thee, O oh Lord, because thou hast made us the world for our sakes. All right. The Lord has made the world for our sakes. Okay. Uh, hey, this is second Exodus 8 and 1. It says, and he answered me, saying, The most high made this world for many. This present world that we are in is for many. All right. The great uh, multi, uh melting pot. All right. You have uh, all the uh, uh, nations can basically come over here and uh get a piece of the pot. You see? It says Made the this world for many, but the world to come for few. You see, 
only the, the man, only our man, hey, and that's what's gonna make this thing so beautiful, all right? To see our people, to, to, to man, and the elect is gonna, is gonna show out in the kingdom. See? And we're gonna rule with, with, with what? That rod of iron, all right? It's gonna be payback, and what? Ultimately, the beautifulest thing is what? We're gonna rule righteously, all right? It tells you in the book of Isaiah that what? All the nations are gonna flow to the house of Israel, all right? All the, the nations are gonna flow into us. Whatever they want, they're going to have to come and seek counsel before us, before them. Okay? And what is not going to, you're not going to see uh, homosexuals uh, running loose in the kingdom. All right? You're not going to have uh, GMOs in the food in the kingdom. All right? You're not going to have uh, adultery being uh, taking place in the kingdom. All right? It's going to be what? Total righteousness. You won't have to worry about none of that. It says, uh, Sean. Yes, I will tell thee a similar to Esdras, as when thou access the earth, it shall say unto thee that it give it much uh, more whereof earthen vessels are made, but little does that cometh of gold. Even so is the course of this present world. You see, there, there be many created, but few shall be saved. Only the elect is going to uh, escape through the, uh, the, the spirit and power of Yahweh, the things to come. All right? It tells you also that what if the elect scarcely gonna be delivered, oh, where shall the, the unrighteous appear? You see, just backing up this point. Just, uh, just backing up that point. You see, and it's no hope for uh, two thirds of our, our people. Why? Because they don't all uh, really trust in Yahweh. All right. This is Psalm chapter one forty seven and verse nineteen. It says, "He sued his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel." have not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments they have not known them you see as for the lord's judgments they have not known them all right they have not known yahweh bashim al-shah judgment it tells you that what the name of yahweh bashim al is a dreadful among the heathen you see as soon as you uh, uh say the name of yahweh bashim al it start uh, trembling you see hey the lord hey, it's like you uh walking down the and somebody uh, calling a name that's not yours. You're not going to turn around. You're not going to hearken to it. You see? You're not going to hearken to it because what? You don't know that person. Likewise, the Lord, hey, these heathens does not know Yahweh Alright? Uh, real quick. Uh, this is uh, this is our definition this is Isaiah chapter 13 in verse uh, 12 it says I will make a man more precious than fine gold even the, the man even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir you see so man in that time so we are uh, now building up our faith we are getting our faith built up okay through the tribulations and the troubles that, that meet us okay Suffering daily in this, in, in uh, everyday life, all right, making ourselves living sacrifices for Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. It's only building us up to it, be something precious, all right. Now, when you go into this word precious, all right, in the Strong's, it's the word uh Yachar, all right. It says uh precious, rare. The elect men are rare, okay. It says uh splendid, weighty, all right. Weighty uh meaning uh what uh, uh, uh value, okay. If you have gold. It's gonna tell uh, how real it is and costly uh, due to its uh, weight. Okay, and it's uh man a, a lot of weight. Uh, it is. Hey man, the elect are just real. You see, the elect are the, are the the only ones left. Okay, it says uh let me see. It was a point in this kind. It says uh was rare. All right, was precious, and uh, it says uh in it was a precious stone. So amongst the elect uh, lays what? A precious stone. All right. Which brings me to 1 Timothy chapter 4. And, uh, let's see. Right. This is 1 uh, Peter. And, uh, verse 12. 
First Peter 2 and 5. Okay. It says, uh, it says, ye also as lively stones, okay? Ye lively stones. And what we know that we are those lively stones because we have this our spirit quickened, all right, through the spirit of Paul Yahweh Shemiasha, which means what? We are now made alive, okay? It says, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the most high by Yahweh Shemiasha, all right? Because what? No man can go. To the most high, uh, less where he goes through Yahweh and, and what the the elect is the only ones that's going to give up uh, spiritual sacrifices to the most high, and the Lord is what going to accept them. Why? Because we have totally repented, turned away, and ultimately it was just set up that way. All right, that what the elect was going to what become living sacrifices because Yahweh Shah's spirit is going to be on the elect. All right, Yahweh Shah himself uh, made he he was uh became a living sacrifice all right so the scripture tell you in the first john that if we uh come up and, and abide in Hamashiach, we must have what no darkness in us all right and what ultimately you're supposed to follow after the same steps that Yahweh Shah did and i'm gonna grab that point real quick this is romans chapter 12 and uh verse 1 and only the elect are going to be partakers of these things it says i beseech you therefore brother and brother are speaking of the the what the, the ones that's going to believe okay it says, by the mercies of the Most High, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. All right? Which is your reasonable service. And what? Man, uh, it is made manifest that this is our reasonable service because before being called into this thing, uh, man, brothers will tell you that, and uh, I can speak uh, for myself, man, I just never imagined a million years that I would be doing this. You see? So that's how you know that it's of the Spirit. Right, that's why we have to constantly pray, uh, going into what Isaiah 51 11 to what Yahweh cast not the spirit, okay? Because, hey amen, Lord will we be of the elect, okay? So we can what uh be be counted worthy of, of that great salvation, all right, that's gonna come, all right. But ultimately, man, these people see uh the, the, the men of Yahweh Shimei out and, and totally despise it, all right. So when that time comes, does don't try to act like um you know you, you made a count of the label. You see, you made a count of the label. This is a uh, wisdom of Solomon. Uh, chapter five, verse one. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as, as have afflicted him and made no account of his labor. Why is that great man going to stand in great boldness? Uh, because a hey, Isaiah chapter 32 and verse one. Uh, uh, start at verse 2. Let me get straight to the point. It says, And a man shall be as a hiding place. You see? We're going to be protected by Yahweh Bashim Yashai. A man shall be as a hiding place, not any man. All right? It's speaking of the elect men who the Lord has his spirit upon. All right? Wherever that, uh, that elect man goes, that spirit is going to be there with him protecting him. All right? It says, And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place. Now, you walk walking through a desert and it... it <laughs> in a, a, a desert is very dry okay you're gonna uh, uh be thirsty be weary you're gonna catch headaches but what man we're gonna be as what rivers of water in that dry place all right so we're gonna be what? That, that great nourishment that great uh quencher all right it says in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land all right it's gonna be all hell uh, taking place and what amongst the men of your house by shima is where you're gonna find that safety at because what these men have became uh living sacrifice okay living sacrifices or uh, 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 basically giving up uh, certain things that we uh once cherished you know in order to what say the hell with the the things and being partakers of the world and now we're walking with you by some outside ultimately what it it, it, it it been that way you see it's been that way from the beginning all right so let me jump back to wisdom of Solomon chapter five it says uh, verse two when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. So far beyond all that they look for. You see, I'll just uh, stop right there. Okay. Amen. So far that they be, be uh, look, look, uh, look for because what? They was never looking at us. You see, they always was, was uh, what had a, a main focus, a uh, tunnel vision on something else. You see, and that's what's going to make it uh, so beautiful. 
man, we are the ones that Yahweh Shem Yashah actually loves. All right, not the ones, the, the Christian pastors that's in these churches that's lying to you people 24 7, taking your money. All right, what? Scripture tell you freely earn. We, we have freely earn. You freely receive. Receive, freely give. You see? We're not charging nobody for breakdowns in this thing. All right? We're just what? Seeking out uh, 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 to, to, to find the elect. And ultimately, man, the leg will be woken up no matter what because this is how about she not trying to control you anything. So, yeah, man, brothers, if you've been called into this thing, keep pushing with uh, sincere due diligence. All right, keep your eyes on the prize. Don't let, uh, man, the, the seducing spirits that's, that's real heavy out right now take you or pull you away from this truth. All right, don't let it pull you away from this truth. Uh, man, let no nothing uh, stop you from getting that crown. All right, this is uh, in, in, out of the will because it's ultimately it's out of the will of your how about she Hey, continue to strive. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying to the elect. And give all praises, honor, and glory to the power by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, with Kaku Josh. And then to the elders and apostles, with great millstone to rule well. And must peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing the truth and sincerity. Diligence. Shalom.